Welcome back to Popular Tripe. I'm Nick. Seasons greetings to you. Today is Boxing Day. Christmas is essentially all over. We've just eaten. Everyone's now just sitting down, snoozing in front of the TV. However, that gives me ample time to do another trailer reaction. Today we've got trailer two, the first full trailer for Ed Knight Shyamalan's Knock at the Cabin. First teaser trailer a few months back. Uh, intense as hell. Essentially we've got two dads, their young daughter in a cabin, four strangers turn up, four armed strangers turn up, hold them hostage, tell them they've got to make a choice, one of them has to die to prevent the oncoming apocalypse. Like I said, first trailer, creepy as hell, looks like a real return to form for Shyamalan. This time we have the added bonus of David Batista, a man who, unlike certain other wrestlers we could mention, doesn't seem to be making the films all about themselves isn't solely trying to star in massive franchises all the time, making very sensible decision, it seems, with every film that he's in. Anyway, without further ado, let's watch this trailer. In fact, no, one more ado. Do me a favour, please click like on this video. That would be very kind. But now, here we go. Trailer 2, Knock at the Cabin, coming right up. Fearsome man. Rupert Grint isn't though. I've bitch slapped Rupert Grint. What do we say? You shouldn't make things up when we're talking about. Can you open the door, please? It's a knock at the cabin. They're breaking in! Fuck you, baby. We're not here to hurt you. But you have to stay well, here in the cabin with us. Families throughout history have been chosen to make this decision. Your family must choose to willingly sacrifice one of the three of you to prevent the apocalypse. We're not sacrificing anyone. For every no you give us, hundreds of thousands of people are going to die. Oh, shit. It's Whoa. Really Speed up. Close your eyes. Whoa, this suddenly got bigger. Will you make a choice? You have to somehow trust. We're normal people just like you. It doesn't matter. None of us believe you. We will never choose anyone. Go, little girl. Where? 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 Mm, saw that coming. I'm afraid the rule is that no one's allowed to leave until you choose. Do you really think it's all just a coincidence? I have to believe that! My son is gonna die. His name is Charlie. As a mother, I am begging you. You're the only one who can stop this. Andrew, I saw something. It's got a lot more emotional in the, the teaser. But I feel it now. Does that seem right? I'm taking my family and I'm leaving. If you fail to choose, the world will perish. We've been given the chance to decide the fate of everyone. Time's running out on the world. I'm scared. There is nothing more flawed and perfect in this world than our family. Please make a choice. Always together. Always together. I will ask for the last time. Will you make a choice? Things escalated there. Whew. Yeah, things stepped up a level there. The teaser trailer was quite intimate, and it was the three hostages against the four, the four horsemen, horse horse persons. But you know, the f the four home invaders, and it just seemed very them against them. There was little hints there that one of the dads was more believing in the story than the other, and there's that extra conflict there. And I missed the detail of it because I was too busy yapping uh, but there was the whole thing about he'd seen a light and they seem to be hinting at some sort of belief system there that the other one didn't have yeah it kind of really expanded there on the original premise like i said the original teaser it set up the premise didn't show us any of the ramifications of it and then here we see that the apocalypse is seemingly very real uh, with the, the tidal waves and then just that background shot of the plane spinning out of the air every time they say no another hundred thousand people are going to die it's insane. It's based on the best-selling book, I think, Paul Tremblay, The Cabin at the End of the World. Have I got that right? 
from about four years ago, but a very well received book. From what I've been reading, a lot of people are hoping that it sticks to the source material. I haven't gone near the source material because I don't want to ruin the film for myself. Uh, M. Knight co-wrote this with the original author, but yeah, it looks to be something pretty special. I think I said in my original reaction for the teaser trailer a few months back, M. Knight seemed to have gone off the boil for me and I wasn't enjoying his films as much as least as I was for his earlier films. I think my favourite one still is Signs out of all of them, just because it had that concept there and it also had that sense of fun. All the other films seem to be about the concept more than anything. And in my humble opinion, don't really have the script or story to back that concept up. Like I didn't really enjoy Split. Uh, I never got round to watching Glass, even though Unbreakable, actually. So I'm going back on myself already. Unbreakable, I would say, is my favourite of his films. Yeah, completely gone back on myself. That's, that's, the, that's my favourite by far, I would say. But like I said, Signs is just so, so watchable and so much fun that I was really hoping he was going to kind of go back to that sort of way of filmmaking. That being said, this does look like it's on another level. The concept is certainly there. It's not from an original idea from M. Night. The source material already seems to be proven and it just looks like it could be a couple of hours of super tense cinema. Well, what did you think? Let me know. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you looking forward to it? Leave comments down below. I'll try and read and respond to everything that I can, unless you're particularly rude. But I do always enjoy reading your opinions on this sort of thing. Just do let me know what you think. Also, if you are feeling so way inclined, it's Christmas, it's a time of giving. Please click like on this video, tap subscribe, hit that notification bell. Keep up to date with all the new content that will be coming up. But for now, I'm going to leave it there, wishing you all a very happy Festivus. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed that trailer. Hope you come back soon. Take care. Bye-bye.